Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls Aston on TV Gadget and Food Review. Today, I'm going to review the Slot Dog. I found this. It looked pretty cool. It's the Slot Dog Hot Dog Slicing Tool, ideal for kids, parties, camping, tailgating, everywhere. And so, check this out. It makes that pattern on your hot dog. And they call it a Slot Dog. So, for best results, no casing. Only use slot dog on ordinary skinless hot dogs without casing, not for sausage or brats. Use slot dog on a cold, on cold and firm hot dogs straight from the fridge. Placing hot dogs in the freezer for 10 minutes before can improve case or ease of slotting. Cleaning tips, top rack dishwasher safe, blades down, no heat dry, clean thoroughly before and after each use. So all you have to do, Looks like they have a social media following intended for use on cold and firm hot dogs. Push slot dog down on the hot dog with end to end rocking motion until the blades cut the desired depth. Carefully pull the hot dog away from the blades and repeat on the opposite side. The slot dog expand or the slots expand as the hot dogs cooks, capturing smoke and grill flavor. Juicy squares with crispy caramelized edges. Grab hold of your toppings. And so yeah, this is what they look like. So yeah, I mean they do look pretty delicious. I mean if you own like a hot dog stand or something, I could see this, you know, you want to differentiate yourself from the competition. I could see maybe using a product like this. Yeah, so check this out. Has the slot dog, the pattern right here. And I guess that's all it is, is you just kind of roll it on the hot dog. I'm going to wash it off and let's get started trying this thing out and cooking up some delicious Oscar Mayer hot dogs. So here we go. All right, the surface is relatively clean. Uh, that's one of the things is, actually, no, I'm going to use a, uh, <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to use just a table right here, but I'm going to get a cutting board. I think that's where it's at. All right, so we have the slot dog. Uh, and you kind of just roll it on the hot dog. We have the Oscar Mayer hot dogs right here. And have you seen the prices for hot dogs? It's unbelievable. Okay, so like the average price at my store, I'm, I doubt this is everywhere, you know, because I live in a very, very expensive part of the country. Uh, but it's like five or six bucks for the cheap hot dogs. And then there's like bar S that are still around, you know, they're a little bit more expensive than they, than they used to be, around two bucks, something like that. But then it's just like the regular hot dogs, you know, are like six or five or six bucks a package. I found these were on sale. These were like a regularly retail. It's always like quote unquote retail price five fifty. I found these ones. They're like uncured uh, for two fifty. So yeah, that's more in line with what I mean. Hot dog, geez. It's like there's the the uh, price of the ingredients is almost nothing. All right, so here we go. Let's try this out. So you just kind of roll, push the slot dog down, end to end rocking motion. So here we go. I'm gonna just do that. Push it down, okay? End to end rocking motion. Kind of clicks there. And let's turn it over, so check that out. Didn't get stuck or anything like that. And look at that. The slots actually worked. All right, let's try the other side. And kind of rock it and let's remove it. Wow, that actually looks really, really, really good. Kind of looks like dragon scales or something like that. All right, so let's cook it and see if it improves the flavor. flavor. Um, let's do one more. But like I said, you know, I could see if you own like a hot dog stand. This definitely could differentiate your hot dogs from every other hot dog stand competitor. Because, you know, like, if everybody in the city is offering the same product, you gotta give them something that not everyone has. And maybe it's the slot dog. So check that out. All right, so let's cook it up on the stove. See if we can get it nice and crispy. And here we go. Two slot dogs. There we go. All right, so they're cooked. Check them out. This is what they look like. 
And what, once again, they did, when they browned, they kind of opened up just as the directions described they would. So actually, like visually, they look really cool. They stayed intact. I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. I did not think they would do so well. I didn't think it would be so easy to cut. I thought they would stick on the blades or maybe the blades weren't even sharp enough to make the cuts. But uh, yeah, I would say definitely take something pretty boring like a hot dog and make it into just something a little bit more interesting. So here we go, let's give it a taste test. Three, two, one, slot dog, hot dog. Yeah, it gives it a little bit more texture. You can definitely taste kind of the ridges, you know, as you bite into it. Um, yeah, overall impressed. I think it, you know, it does offer, offer uh, the opportunity for more kind of like surface area to like get crispy, like they said. And I think visually it just like looks pretty cool. So I do definitely recommend the Slot Dog Hot Dog Slicing Tool. There you go. Pick it up if you can. I think it's a fun product and I definitely recommend it. I think it does add something to a boring hot dog. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like my videos, please subscribe. If you want to support my channel, go to patreon.com slash nine malls. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.